Hey guys, peeps, welcome back to Snail TV. I uh, hope you guys have had a great new year. Uh, it is the new year now, so um, obviously only bigger and better things to come for Snail TV. I uh, really wanna show you a couple of things. I've got a really exciting thing on uh, the Harper Booster. So I'll show you the clip uh, a bit later, but um, I really, really wanna go around and show you what we've been up to. A couple of things here we haven't been filming only because of I've been working on a couple of mates cars. So, yeah, I'll show you guys of what we've been up to, and I'll go from there. All right, guys, so first of all, uh, obviously we've got the engine put into the Camaro. So LS2 in this thing. Um, we've had to cut the firewall, um, the trans tunnel, uh, and everything. Uh, yeah, just to get everything fitted in properly, that's all. Um, wasn't going to fit otherwise. Uh, we've pushed it back quite a bit. Um, that's exactly what um, what we all wanted, and because of the just so we could miss um, the frame there, and uh, plenty more. Um, yeah, things we can mount in the front there. Obviously, you guys know what we're going to mount. Um, we've got a really good idea of mounting um, radiator. Um, we're going to do a water to air intercooler on this thing and obviously twin turbos at the front if you guys haven't seen the the picture of that so uh yeah it's just sitting here at the moment just on blocks and um i'm just making up some mounts and stuff like that as we speak just so we could um yeah get this thing all sorted out uh, i'll re-trim up all uh the firewall afterwards and um yeah we'll go from there so yeah, we've been pretty busy on that one. I'm uh, making a couple of things there, a bit of a list of what we need to order and a few things as well. So everything's happening. So this is for our good mate, Steve. Um, that's helped me out with the Snail TV. So this has done, um, yeah, so far so good. So really excited um, to work on this one. And um, yeah, obviously I'm pretty new to the LSs and LS whatnot, so they're all engines, but uh, we'll make it uh, go uh, a million miles an hour. So, and over here, uh, I've got a couple of guys asking about these ones over here. Uh, this is another mate, uh, obviously a E30 BMW with a uh, RB25 in it. A um, bit more of a drift spec on this one, so it's a full just blown drift car. Um, that's what we're building it for. So, um, he's pretty much just dropped it off and. Uh, yeah ready to go so everything's gutted same thing guys so tunnels all removed and um yeah just making a custom dash for it need to fix up the tunnel and whatnot i've uh, got to do new the mounts for the front engine are done i'm um, just got to do a, a, a trans tunnel there a trans mount sorry um back seat there's nothing really in the back here uh we've got a really cool idea for some um stuff in the back uh we'll get to later but um yeah get to a few things so yeah everything's looking pretty sweet um turbo size i think is yeah hyper gear uh, i'm not sure tiny rear housing though um i'll have to get some specs for you guys um it's a standard uh top mount manifold uh turbo smart uh wastegate there and a uh yeah front facing plenum um obviously uh Big fuel rail and um, yeah, some big injectors in this thing. Uh, E85, I'm pretty sure that we're going to be running on this thing. And I have conned this guy into going to fuel tech as well, so that's a good thing. Um, he had the standard uh, how tech on this thing, and uh, yeah, it's a bit rough. So we go we'll switch sides. Obviously, everyone knows that I'm uh, yeah doing some good stuff uh, with uh, fuel tech now, so. Yeah, as many cars we can get going on it, then it's all better for all of us. So, I uh, just finished up on the boot today, so we'll have a uh, quick look. Uh, two 044 pumps. All right, um, fuel cell. All right, custom made there. All looking pretty sweet. I'm um, still going to bolt it all together, bolt it all down, do a couple of things as well. Um, we're doing a rear mount radiator setup on this thing. Um, got a really awesome idea that I've got to get done. Um, I've got to sort that out myself though, so that's alright. 
But as I said, this is just from, these are off-site of projects, so guys, so new to the RB thing. I've done a few RBs, but it's different as well. Um, yeah, so also um, got some uh, sweet ideas on a few other things as well. Uh, I thought I'd show you a few other things. So we actually do have a, I'll just move a few things out the way here. But we have a uh, GSX-R 600 motor injected. This is a Series 2 as well. So the Series 2 had uh, twin injectors, all right, in each cylinder, which is, that's where you know what, so you know it's a Series 2. Um, so that, that there is, we have another dirt frame. Uh, this is a dirt cart, so we've got an awesome idea on this. So obviously that motor, but um, yeah, we've got a uh, real wicked idea. So we will get to this soonish, all right, next couple of weeks or so, when uh, more of this, this thing here is running. Um, obviously, I'm waiting still on lines, guys. I can't do anything about these lines. Um, obviously, there's a couple of places over in Melbourne that are shut down, so when they come, they come. All right, obviously, this beast is still happening. Um, and obviously, the bike, I've got everything coming for this as well. So all the V-bands I've got coming. Um, I've got the other pipe uh, over there somewhere. Um, as I said, I was going to get another 90, so it's the same radius. And, yeah, um, obviously we've just got to join it up in the centre here. Uh, weld these pipes on this side, clean them up first, sorry guys. And obviously a uh, V-bander on this side. Don't worry about Doggy, he doesn't know what he's doing. Um, obviously guys, we've got the fuel tech on this thing over here. Alright, so that's all sweet. I've got the cover on there at the moment. Um, gonna get some seats the next couple of days as well. Um, so want to organize that and also um, got to get this thing starting to get wired up. So I uh, really need to get a uh, set of coil packs because I stole them um, for this thing. So yeah, got to get another set of coil packs. They're not expensive at all, so that's all right. Um, Boosa, there's nothing really to do on this thing, guys. It just runs, it starts, and it does its thing. And it just sounds absolutely um, unbelievable. Um, Pocket Rocket, obviously, we just ride that around every now and again. It's just a bit of a pig to start here and there. Um, I've got a few parts and pieces. So I'm going to show you this, guys. So I don't know if you guys can guess what parts these from. All right. That's all I'm going to do because it's got no riding on them. But I've got another head and block coming. And I'll let you guys tell me what they're from. Alright, so we'll keep that as is. So yeah, we've got absolutely everything happening around you guys. And uh, yeah, things are, things are going well. Alright guys, so I'll cut to um, the video that we have. A short little video of the half a Busa for the very first time actually running. Um, it's not running, sorry, actually driving. Um, obviously it doesn't have a clutch, and it doesn't have a brake. So we literally just pushed it, clicked it in the gear, and then went around uh, the front of uh, my shop. So um, it's, yeah, it's wicked. So steering's killer, like I love the steering as well, so that's a good thing. Um, obviously everything's gonna change when we put some, um, some new tires and stuff like that on as well. So we really want to, uh, what do you call it? Put some uh, paddle tyres and some um, uh, more sand tyres on there. But um, apart from that, uh, it it does what it needs to do as well. So gave a couple little blips here and there as well. Um, obviously, you can't do too much because I haven't got a proper tune in it at the moment either. Obviously, I can't get it warm to enough to uh, get it tuned up. Doggy, he's just changed on a fly, so don't worry about him. Um, yeah, so that's what we're up to. So. Obviously, I'll cut it to you at the end there. Um, guys, thanks very much for following me back in last year. All right, so 2021 was an awesome year for Snail TV. Um, 2022, I hope to be just as better. If not, um, yeah, just hopefully it's gonna be uh, just as awesome as well. So, so many more things to come. Obviously, I've got a couple of side projects on there as well happening, but I still have so many other things in the works as well. 
Um, as I said to you, a couple of ideas are happening. I've got another cart in the build very, very soon. That's as soon as this cart's finished. I really like getting those little tiny carts here and there happening. Um, they're just so fun. And um, yeah, they're, they're just so much littler. You put a car in this place and it just fills up too quick. So the cart is, yeah, really awesome. So I really can't wait to get that going because that one's actually totally different out of all of these. All right, so can't wait to that. Um, and yeah, guys, thanks very much for obviously liking and subscribing. Um, if you haven't done so, please go do. And um, yeah, I'll uh, see you on the next video. So hope you enjoy this video. See you guys.